Hello traders, it's Samurai Trader here. Welcome to this training session. Well, actually, it's going to be a combination both a training session and a trade recap. In today's session, I'm going to be discussing a number of different setups, but also uh, going through and explaining in great detail five winning trades out of six and please remember that what I cover here it doesn't matter whether you trade futures Forex or stocks you apply the exact same rules so another important thing in today's video I'm also using Renko charts so you can use any chart type uh, you wish so if you're already using uh, say time-based charts uh, maybe uh, tick charts etc you can continue to use those types of charts as well and it doesn't matter which time frame you trade use the exact same strategies and techniques as I'll teach you today one of the things that we need to learn to do as we master the art of day trading is we must apply what we call black box thinking that is I'm also going to be explaining to you where I went wrong with the losing trade that is I made a massive blunder but it's very important because rather than just say darn it why did I do this gee I'm stupid how did I stuff this up we've got to reframe that and look at it and say what can I learn from this what will I do differently next time and this is a constant challenge that I have with members when they're beating themselves up instead of reversing it and turning it into a learning experience and to truly master the art of day trading we've got to learn to say what can I learn from this now I do need to get the uh, disclaimer up there is a risk in trading of course because you're watching a recording please feel free to pause the recording to read the disclaimer now also uh, please click on the subscribe now link so you can be kept up to date with all of my videos and if you haven't already make sure you click on the link below uh, to download my ebook the truth about day trading and also my free training manual and last of all if you like what you see uh, I my programs are $197 uh, it's a $10,000 plus program if anything it's too big <laughs> there's so much content however I cover 16 to 18 of the world's best day trading strategy you start off with two and you build from there for $197 you get my entire program uh, uh, which includes all of my indicators for ninja trader uh, trade station think or swim etc etc even if you don't have one of those even if your platforms not there I give you all of the indicator settings and on top of that I throw in uh, you can attend my coaching sessions that is I give you eight live two hour coaching sessions in a group in a group coaching session environment I've got uh, hundreds of traders that are members uh, globally many attend the live sessions many watch the uh, recording 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time every Tuesday and Wednesday where we go through step by step the strategies uh, how to trade them uh, really the ins and outs of really the A to Z of day trading all of that for only $197 uh, click on the link below you'll be able to find the buy now link come and join us now let's now move right on so the first thing we want to do is set some goals and I'm going to attempt to keep this video well under 30 minutes traders okay but this is really important so going back a week or so ago I was uh, preparing for the live trading room uh, so I also run a live trading room where we're trading live and uh, I thought oh, what I'll do is I'll just fire off a few trades and show the members how to net 500 a day uh, uh, on the NQ or 50 a day effectively on the micro NQ so we were on the micro NQ now for many of you if you're a new trader you may be thinking 50 bucks a day how can I make money from that you're about to see in a moment you've got to have a target now some traders will say you shouldn't set targets well rubbish you've got to have a goal when you've got a compelling enough future okay it, it, it drives you to get there now one thing I want to say with this is in day trading I want you to look at it is get rich slowly that is you know it's very very hard to get rich quickly as a day trader however over a period of time if you do it correctly you've got the real opportunity and I'm about to show you how to do it with a small account 
so as uh, I think it was actually Steve Tony Robbins once again who made this so uh, gave this quote uh, if you have a big enough why uh, you'll figure out the how so this is it so today we're going to be looking at the micro NQ and, and once again traders it doesn't matter which market you trade uh, you can just apply the exact same principles if you're going to trade the micro NQ to do it correctly I know your broker will say you only need $50 but in fact if you're looking at this as a long-term business you never ever ever risk any more than 2% and what that means is traders is this right here if you're going to say trade the micro NQ and use an eight tick Renko okay uh, your risk is going to be around $13 sometimes it gets as high the way we do it and I'll probably show you that on the charts is $15 and so I say allow $800 the higher the time frame the more money you need to allow cut these corners and I won't see you in the top 5% I'm afraid that is you've got to have the funds to trade unfortunately so many traders think they can cut the corners and get there it's just not true you can't cut corners when it comes to day trading it's like there's some sort of trading God waiting to get you but just to quickly show you this here so start off with $50 a day potential net of 10,000 a week in 15 weeks how do you do that well first of all you do it by correct money management if you were to study how Larry Williams turned ten thousand dollars into 1.1 1.2 million uh, you discover that was mainly a, a big part of it was money management well here you can do the exact same thing and he started off with ten thousand not eight hundred how this table works and I'll be quick with this you can only start trading two contracts when you double your money so therefore if you're making 50 a day that's 250 a week and it's not really until about week four that you've doubled your money now you start trading two you double it again or you, you get enough to start trade another 800 every time you achieve $800 you can start trading an additional contract and look where you are in 15 weeks that's an income weekly 11 800 plus your capital is grown to $45,000 now you wouldn't be trading 53 micros then you'd be trading five big lots so effectively a, mi a micro contract is 10% of the value of a big contract so once you've put your, your capital up to eight thousand dollars if you wish you can then move over and start trading the big contract the commissions are a lot cheaper now when we get to the charts in a moment ideally you'll see that I'm a scalper I like going for the short quick moves in and out in and out getting the cash registered a ring that's what I said around that's really what's what it's all about getting that cash register to ring so how do we do that well you're about to see but on the five step trades and I'll show you what that means when we get to the chart in a moment we need six five step trades a day that would be $60 or 600 on the big contract less $10 in commissions on the micro it's a, it's a little bit less than that but let, really I don't know what your broker charges you so $50 a day or you can go for slightly larger targets and you only need four trades a day so that was what I was out to illustrate to the members as you'll see in a moment now when it comes to the time frames that we use because you'll notice here I'm talking about here an eight tick Renko and about $800 in your account where it can vary is the New York session uh, you know you can probably trade an eight tick chart the way I'm about to show you how to trade it uh, probably 70% of the time but in very busy New York times or new the New York session when the volumes really pumping you're probably gonna have to jump up to a 12 or even a 16 tick that's a bit beyond today's session now once we get into the New York afternoon by the way nearly always you can trade the eight tick the Asian session if anything the eight tick is too fast oh sorry my apologies too slow you can drop down to a four tick quite often during that session and let's remember if you're new to the futures market you can trade futures uh, 23 hours a day and you're not subject to the um, uh, what do they call it the, the day trading pattern rules etc uh, then of course you roll from London over to New York so what 
whichever market or whichever market we trade we always need to consider of course which is the right time frame now something which is very important too which you'll notice and I'll talk about as we are about to go to the charts after this slide here we've got to remember that there are of course some lagging indicators but they're also predictive indicators now they call them indicators because indicators indicate where price may go however we've got some indicators that are what we call predictive indicators so many traders trade them and they become uh, a self-fulfilling prophecy if you like and some of them are what we call price magnets as you will see almost certainly in the video as well so we've got our floor pivots the prior days open high low and close the major EMAs the special if you trade CL the Texas T the black gold <laughs> um, uh, with oil there's I've discovered some numbers there where we put off which we bounce off them every day support resistance levels which are well known by the uh, uh, the pro traders in the oil industry so there's some special numbers they they're predictive why because we bounce off them every day our major swing highs and lows for the traders trading session and as you'll see in a moment the current days high and low okay so all of these become predictive and one of my members um, uh, Ali he actually calls it the t28 I just refer to a lot of these as pivot magnet trades so the t28 is, is generally with floor pivots it's a 90% trade where 90% uh, win loss ratio where we buy or sell into a floor pivot now there's some rules for that very very basic but kicks butt day in day out so let's get to the charts so what we're going to uh, look at here is oh, actually let me just show you this this is actually the YM I might as well point this out I actually just um, we were just talking about the days high and low the current day session now I'm actually recording this uh, on a Monday the uh, uh, 19th of the 6th and so it's actually a public holiday and it's also after hours still what is it here it is uh, well 1 35 a.m. Central Standard Time but I want you to notice here we've got a higher high and see my MACD rolling over now this is what we call a zero lag MACD it's all right I teach you how to if you don't have ninja trader or trade station I I'll teach you I'll give you special settings for MACD to do exactly the same thing but I want you to notice here the higher high and this is called the anchor chart one this is called the entry chart I want you to know that I've got a notice got a higher high and a lower high okay naturally a higher high and we've rolled over and we can see our pivots just there now that would have been a very not now this is actually on the YM now you'll hear me talk about steps so it, it just it really depends the step value you see these on the Renko we just call them steps okay how many steps up are you and the value depends on the size of your candles there okay but here each one of these is worth five dollars coming up or coming down but anyway I'm digressing let's get to the uh, uh, to here we go to the trades I took and let me explain these in detail to you so on this particular week I was starting a live session at 3 a.m. Central Standard Time 4 a.m. Eastern so this is actually uh, about a week ago and so well, I thought I'll just fire off some trades show the traders how to pick up their $50 per contract as many of my members trade the micros great spot to start before they treat that as a stepping stone leading up to the big contract so I just thought well let's fire off a few trades as we get the session underway so I'm preparing got my computer open just note the time 220 I could not resist this trade here this is your classic uh, uh, we had a 2d a 2d is a double top basically double top but I had divergence on two different time frames and my target is what I call five steps and one out at seven so here in the room we're trading either on the big of the micros one and one 
now this is where the five step moves okay so one two three four five and you can see you can trail and when I won't get into that today but here well, I come on down and I hit my five and my seven steps thank you very much but look at that as a trade double top and I'm at the high of day that's what that green line is and I had divergence now on the anchor chart I'll just show you this I think it's useful for you to see this here uh, whoops let me just quickly do this because I think you'll like to see it. nothing like visually seeing the pattern itself so the pattern let me just move this over for you okay so there is the double top and look at the anchor chart here okay so here's your double top and we're rolling over just there okay so um, that's uh, what we call a 2d double top now we then came down thank you very much and then we had what we call a 2bd a plain vanilla 2bd now this is where we have to be very cautious this um, blue dotted line so there are a couple of areas first of all the pivots our major EMAs and the days high and low so we've got this green line up here that is if you notice from this entry we went up there we hit the pivot slightly through it then we retraced then I jumped back in again and the reason I got out of this trade I hit what we call five steps uh, and then uh, the second contract I was going for seven I, when I hit five I go to break even plus cover my commissions and then we retraced uh, and it stopped me out on the second at break even okay so trade one nice for winner all right nice little winner here then I had a second entry just here now I want you to notice something else with this I'm bouncing off my major EMAs I want you to also look down below at the MACD BB I want you to notice that is almost a double bottom with divergence with the trend these are a very high probability trade when you got divergence with the trend here we had divergence as a reversal here we had divergence with trend we then uh, I was out there with five and seven steps out of that trade thank you very much then I took another trade now I want you to notice this see how we missed the high just here see up here we created a new high see how we missed the day's high just there always get suspicious when it happens for two things one either we're going to come back and retest that again or we might be heading to a reversal so I took this trade I went long and on the basis that as soon as I was in the green I was going to go to break even and the reason being you can see it reversed virtually straight away and I got out just covering commissions so if ever you've got a trade where you're buying into a pivot particularly if it's counter trend of a high of a day or you just missed it always be suspicious there's nothing wrong with getting to break even cut uh, covering commissions uh, and, and just really it, it for me it works okay it's a scalp so what I was hoping of course was to punch through that and continue on the high which it didn't do I then shorted that and the reason I went short very simple look at that got a beautiful double top uh, okay so I've got a beautiful double top with some great divergence just there and if we look over at our anchor chart again where is that here it is just here I've got a double top and the MACD just started to roll over but I had a lot more divergence on the I, I have an extra an extra higher time frame the anchor chart too uh, as a new trader you don't have to have the AC2 by the way you can start off with an entry chart and anchor chart one remember we want to be trading in the direction of the higher time frame now that was five winners okay feeling pretty good I've still got another 14 minutes before the live room starts and so I, uh, I put a comment there and I should have just gone the break even and my comment there was I got out uh, right at the 89 EMA but I also had the pivot just below so whenever we sell 
into a major EMA or buy or into a pivot just a bit like here I want to get to break even as soon as possible or lock some profit in because we can quite often bounce and so I got out of that one so I typed up that comment should have just gone to break even now I then left that there I had uh, another five minutes before the room opened and I'm busy doing things and I saw this set up here and we call this a t20-1 okay so I had a, a perfect t20-1 just there and this is where we need to apply black box thinking where did I go wrong well number one we were still in quite a clear uptrend on all three time frames so I was trading against the overall trend okay I jumped in against the trend mistake number one number two I sold right into a pivot when the trend is trending up and I typed in that comment just say should have just gone to break even and I was so focused what was happening that I failed to really note that it was right at a pivot we we're in an uptrend and so it was just I call it a rookie mistake and sorry to all the new traders out there one of the first things we want to learn now what then happened is we then had another classic 2b setup which was one of those one here one here and I had one there so selling this was mighty fine but then I would have hit my total target in would have been less than 50 minutes that would have been 500 per contract on the big one or 50 on the micro so what can you learn from that when it comes to pivots uh, open high low and close we've got to be extra cautious around those levels particularly if you've got a trend uh, say in this case an uptrend and you're selling into a pivot you've got two forces of nature against you that is floor pivots that were once resistance will quite often then become support likewise with the major EMAs now another little thing here before I finish this video up is after a big move the market loves to retest the higher low so just prior to this we'd had a really strong move up over about 15 20 minutes whenever you see a big strong move like that we then come back down expect what we call a retest of the market so big move up move down expect a retest but traders as I wrap this video up don't sell into pivots major EMAs open high low and close levels etc particularly if it's also against a trend unless you've got room to take a profit or scalp but I'll talk more about that in another video so as a quick reminder if you haven't already please subscribe to my youtube channel to be kept up to date with all of my videos and of course come and join me for 197 you can get to attend my live coaching classes uh, they are recorded as well eight two-hour live sessions all of my indicators as one member um, uh, once described it I've got over 10,000 members globally as one member described it it's like a gold mine literally so come along and join us you can see the join now link down below make sure you get my ebooks thank you traders see you in the next video and see you in my coaching classes